Hey everyone, Larissa here. I wanted to show you how to make one of these simple paper orcs out of old book pages. So this is how you do it. So you're going to need your old book. You're going to need uh, something circular to trace. You're going to need a pencil to trace with. You're going to need scissors to cut out the pieces of the orb, the circles, and you're going to need glue to glue everything together. If you want to read more about this uh, process here, uh, you can check out my blog, thepowdersandtrees.com, and a link to the blog post itself uh, in the description box below. Um, so I do, I did write in there about how, um, yeah, it is kind of blasphemous to cut up an old book, um, but my explanation, I guess, is that I studied literature for four years at university, and so I feel like that just gives me a little bit of, I don't know, leeway. Um, I have a lot of old books. I love old books. Oh my god, even the smell of this one right now is just like... Um, but I have a lot of old books. Um, I checked this one here, which is... Um, it doesn't say right there because that's how old it is. Uh, this one is called The Golden Fury by Marion Summer. Marion Castle. Um, I checked this book on eBay is about six dollars and fifty cents USD. Um, so it's not that it's a expensive book, but books are precious. But I do feel um, if you're going to be using them uh, to create something new um, that you can enjoy in a different way, then maybe it's okay. Uh, so yeah. You're going to need to rip out gently the pages that you want to use. Um, so I kind of just picked right in the middle of the book. As you can see, I already, because I made one, I actually have already made two. Um, this, I already have taken some of the pages out of the middle. Um, I thought that if I took them out of the middle, then the book would still be, um, you know, you could still close it and then maybe use it to put it on display, which is what I had um, been doing with it before. Um, actually normally it's up in my stairwell. Um, I have a whole bunch of books up kind of on a ledge in there. So I'm just going to put it back um, when I'm done. No harm, no foul. Uh, so I'm going to pull out um, five pages um, because I want ten circles. That's what I use to um, make this orb here. Um, of course you could use fewer um, circles or you could use more depending on how dense you want it to be. Um, but again, I'm going to do two circles per page, um, 10 circles in total, so I'm going to need five pages. Okay, so there you go, I got my five pages here. Um, also, before I forget, I wanted to say that uh, I am also saving the uh, pieces, the pages that I already have cut out of. Um, for future projects because you never know when you might need some cut up book pages all right so okay done with that all right now i've got my pages here and i'm just going to start tracing circles um i planned it so that i would get two circles per page as opposed to if i used something that was um maybe a little bit bigger uh I might have only got one per page and then I would have had to use 10 book pages instead of five book pages. But if you wanted a bigger orb, um, that's totally fine. You maybe would just get one per page and then you do 10 pages worth. Or maybe you want to make a really little orb and then you could maybe get like five circles per page and you'd only need to use two pages. Um, so really it's just up to you whatever size um, you want yours to be. So I'm going to grab my handy pencil here and this pencil here, I actually uh, had this pencil, had this pencil for a really long time. This is a drafting pencil that I had when I went to school the first time, so not the time that I studied literature, but the time before that, when I studied architecture, this was the pencil that I used, one of the pencils I used to do my hand-drawn, like, working drawings, which seems crazy because we do everything on computers, but yet they still made us learn how to do it hand-drawn, I guess, so that we just put appreciate the historical process. Um, okay, so here I go. Trace. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm all done tracing. Um, so I'm gonna just start cutting now. And I wouldn't worry about your circles being super perfect. Obviously try to make them the best that you can, but um, we're talking about a paper or lead from old book pages here. So perfection is not really the goal. One of the things I love about this project is um, reading parts of the text while you're drawing circles and cutting. Um, I actually just read something on this page here that's um, really upsetting, so I'm not going to reiterate it here. Um, but some of the stuff in this book, uh, there's some risque stuff that um, kind of makes me laugh whenever I catch a glimpse of it. Okay, and now I've got my 10 um, circles here. And so all that's left to do is to fold them all in half and then glue them together. So um, uh, if you have a piece like, like this one where the other side, uh, see how it's got a bunch of like white space and it's got the part of the chapter um, heading on it. So I don't want that part to be on the outside of my orb. Maybe you would want to, that's totally fine. But just um, plan that as you're folding. So anything that you don't want to be on the outside, you would, when you fold, you would fold it so that the part that you do want is on the inside, like this. And then this part here would be the part that um, would be glued to the other circles. Okay, so glue time. So I'm just gonna glue half of the circle at a time. And then you take the next piece and then make sure that the text is facing the same way. And then you're just gonna do your best to line it up. And then you're gonna stick it together and you're gonna get something like this. Um, so when you're lining it up, I would say line it up with the flat edge more so than with the rounded edge um, because this will be the middle of the orb. If it's off, the middle of the orb has um, kind of like a gap or a hole in the middle. Um, it just doesn't fit together as nicely. So yeah, again, just try lining it up with this part here. And then you're left with this little guy, which I actually think looks kind of cute like that as well. Um, but I'm going to finish gluing it together. So glue this side, close it, and do my best to line this up here together. And this is where you'll find that maybe it's not quite lined up perfectly, but do your best. And there you have it. And so now you might see that this one doesn't really stand up as well. Um, that's because this one I actually cut a little flat edge on the bottom. So if you want to do that, um, if you're going to have it sitting out, um, I just fold it and find a way to fold it flat like that. Uh, take the scissors and then just cut a little sliver off the bottom. There you have it. There you go. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Bye.